and hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you all the pistol knives I've used for muscle difficulty and what kind of builds I've made for my playthrough. Now right, because I believe these are the best pistol knives for muscle difficulty and if you follow them it will help you for your playthrough also. So so these are the following personas I'm using. In each and every persona you see you seeing that I'm I have all the elemental effects like freeze, wind, nuclear, side, electricity, curse, physical, ness. For Lucifer I'm using fire and almighty also. And I'm using search with you doing my teammates, right? So for Black Frost. Black Frost you can see there are so in all my personas you'll find there are four stats which are prioritizing. Spellmaster, the two boost. For but for ice and fire, it'll be freeze boost and burn boost, so that I can increases the chance of inflicting burn and freeze on the enemies. And technical attack. All right. So what, why I prioritize these two is because the ice boost gives me 25% damage bonus. Ice am gives me 50% more, and they can stack. And they even they they also stack with technical attack. Because technical attack also gives around. 25% damage bonus, alright. So in all you have 100% damage bonus. Alright. And I'm only using one severe damage attack on all my personas. On some of the personas I'm using two if I have enough space. But for my black frost, my black frost helps me to gain back a lot of SP because since I have element boost and freeze boost, it increases the chance of me inflicting freeze on the enemies. And from Soul Thief, I'm able to drain SP when I inflict any element. So for each enemy I, I freeze, I get 5 SP. So when, when in, a, in an encounter, when you're facing a bunch of enemies, you'll be able to get a ton, ton of SP back. Alright. And the same goes for Saraswati. For Saraswati, I use her for healing all my teammates. But I'm using Debilitated on it. I'll, I'll tell you later why. But same goes here, the spell master. And I'm using sleep boost and lullaby because when you inflict sleep on an enemy, all your elements and physical attack get a technical effect on them. You get the bonus damage if you if you do if you damage with any of the elements with on an enemy who's sleeping, right? And I do not use fear, forget, and brainwash. The two I prioritize is dizzy and sleep. Yeah. Then my next person is I'm using Fortune. On my Fortune, I'm using Concentrate. And like I said, the four four stats I'm prioritizing are Spellmaster, the two boosts, and Technical Adept. And I'm using Vacuum Wave. And Spellmaster is very necessary for Fortuna because once you inflict Burn status effect on any of the enemy, you get bonus damage on inflicting Wind damage to that enemy. All right, and since it becomes a technical effect on that enemy. With technical death, it's basically 100% damage boost. And Spellmaster helps you to like utilize a lot of SP. And for mods, see, same here, new camp, new boost, but I'm using Dizzy boost and Nocturnal Flash on this one. Because Dizzy works the same like uh, the sleep effect, but Dizzy helps to like, once the enemy is dizzy, all your elemental attacks and physical attacks now have a technical effect on them which helps you deal a bunch of damage a huge amount of damage on the, on the enemies right then there is Fornius now Fornius I had a lot of space left I just put forget over here for the just for nothing I don't have any use of it I mainly use Psychoblast and the four things four skills I told you to prioritize the two boosts Spellmaster and Technical Adept. You can use all you. You can change these two if you want. All right, they don't actually matter much. Uh, for Thor, for Thor, same. Uh, since it's a uh, electricity, you need Shock Boost also. For the Thor, there are five. There are basically five skills you want to prioritize: Shock Boost, Electricity, Electricity Boost, electric, Electricity Amp, Spellmaster, and Technical Adept. Now I was lucky enough to find Null Wind because Thor is. It's weak against wind, and I'm using Evade Psy because I didn't have Null Psy also. Alright, and I'm using Wild Thunder. So Alice. 
for Alice, you can see um, not using the survival skills and all. I'm just prioritizing the close attacks, and I'm using die for me with Mudon boost because Alice is a must for merciless difficulty. All right, she helps you one shot so many bosses and the enemies in this game, especially while Futaba is hacking. She's so Alice helps you clear out a bunch of enemies using her skills. All right. Same, the curse boost, curse and spell master. I, Alice is weak, weak to bless attacks, but I put no bless in it to overcome that. And I'm using technical attack over here too. <coughs> now for Yoshitsune. My Yoshitsune has charge and heat riser, and I'm using dizzy boost and flash bomb with this one. Like I said, when you dizzy any enemy, that you're able to. A deal bonus damage to that enemy if the enemy is dizzy, right? Because it gets a technical effect on that. After once I dizzy an enemy, I'll usually go in a fight, use my flash bomb and dizzy a bunch of enemies, then I'll use hustle to be to deal a huge amount of damage. But I also at the same time using attack master to increase my attack and knockdown style. Because knockdown style helps me to decrease the decrease the down gauge at a very high rate, you know? See, you can see it briefly decreases down goes of 1 4 when landing a critical. And I'm using technical attack to give me bonus damage. So, but uh, Yoshitsune has one more thing. You can use Yoshitsune to drain, gain a lot of SP also if you want. I'll show you later. Now, Metatron, like I said, I'm not using Debilitate on Metatron. I'm using prioritizing less damage for Metatron. So I'm using Bless Amp, Bless Boost, Armor Boost, and since he's weak to curse, I, I was lucky enough to find Null Curse, so I gave it to him. And I'm using Spell Mass and Technical Death. I'm using Mahamog and Makugo. There are some enemies which, on most of this difficulty, they direct curse, they drain curse damage, or so many of them are null to them, so you cannot use Alice to one shot them. In that case, Metatron comes in. If they, if they are. If they are immune to curse, then they might be not immune to bless. All right, it's very rare. Only some two or three enemies who are who are immune to bless and curse. All right, so you can use this and hammer boost to help you one shot those enemies. Again, spells must spell master helps a lot to utilize your SP. Now Lucifer, Lucifer, I'm using it to prioritize fire attacks. So you can see I'm using. Blazing Hell and this is Blaze because see he is he is weak to bless. If you have one more null bless, it'll be even more better. But he's only weak to bless, so I use this is bless to nullify that. And say I'm using technical adapt, burn boost, fire boost, fire amp and spell master. These as soon as I'm using they are enough. You can play through the entire game using your main character. You don't even need other characters to help you in the combat. Once you have this build, you can go through the entire game playing as a main, main character. Now for the equipment, I advise using the Coctus or Paradise Lost, any one of these two. And for Protector, you can use Karna's Rope to decrease the physical damage your main character takes. Or I'm using Demon Jacket over here because it gives me more defense. Right for Karna's Rumbo. And for Accessory. Now since you since while I was playing through this build, I didn't have my build was not perfect initially, right? It had some drawbacks. But once I utilized it, I was using Futaba's charm to get my showtime gauge rate up the very high rate. But I'd advise using another one which gives you impish impish corsage. It gives you elements cause SP drain, right? Once you have that, so this is very beneficial for your Shitsune because you can see that my Yoshitsune has flash bomb which I use to do a dizzy effect on the enemies so and I have even dizzy boost so if I dizzy a bunch of enemies I'll be able to gain a lot of lot of SP back and same goes for Black Frost. So I'll showcase you your Shitsune just to just so you all know what I mean. Alright. I'll just go to body and let's see there's no one in my body. Explode here. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'll just waste some um, SP to show you all 
how fast I'll be able to get back my XP. Okay. Now I'll go do the shit silly. I'll go here. Start the fight. Okay. So now I'm gonna use flash bomb to get dizzy. Okay. Once I get dizzy, I'll give you a special attack to kill them all. You see the amount of damage I do? I even got two SP incense. I can use other recovery, go to another one. Oh wait. Okay, there are a ton of enemies over here. Now for each enemy I busy, I'll get 5 SP. So you slash bomb, see, I'm already at 99 SP now. Now if I use technical, you can see the amount of damage I do. Right. Now for your shit in it, you see, it gains a lot of health using his attack. So that's why I've given the Haran to service with this. Alright. Then I go back to your shit in it and start using the attack again. Alright. Alright. So, that's basically how my build works. I'll show you to get it again. Let's see, I have 65, 965. Once I use flash bomb, it'll be 999 again. You see? Then use technical and kill them all. Right. So this is basically my build. I can use the Shitsune and Black Frost to gain back a lot of SP. Let me showcase using Black Frost over here. Because Black Frost has a combo where you use this, it, it's easy to inflict a freeze on the enemy. Right. Like over there. I have a 979. Now what? It's 999. So you can just keep hitting this attack and freeze a bunch of enemies, alright? They would be hit, able to hit you back. Until unless they are not immune to ice, you'll be able to freeze them. Now, same goes for Alex. Alice, die for me. Alright. Die for me, it helps a lot. Let's see over here. Alright. As you can see, my enemy spawn. See, they are not weak to cut. They are both gonna die. Done. None of them are. See how fast you're able to kill all of them. Alright. Now since I lost some SP, I'll just switch to your system and gain back my SP over Flash bomb, gain back my SP and then the legal damage. Alright, done. They're all there. So basically, once you have this build, you do not need anything much to help you in combat. Like Joker can finish the entire game playing alone. Alright, you can even kill all the bosses in this game by just using Joker if you have this build. I'll show you my personas again. Saraswati, Fortuna, Moth, Fornius, Thor, Alice, Shitsune, Metatron, Lucifer. Alright, so it's gonna be difficult for you to get all these stats exactly the exactly the same on my on the same as my personas but because alice is the only character who gets spellmaster if you level her up all right so if you need spellmaster on all your characters all your personas then you'll have to create mokai using using alice all right and use mokai as a base to create all your other personas and I advise that during the beginning of the game, you come across any of the elemental effect, any skill card which increases the damage of any of the elemental effect, elemental effects. Do not use them for inferior personas. Just wait till late game and utilize those skill cards for higher tier personas. So, with that, if you reach this, then you can complete the entire game just using Joker.